Hi, dear entrepreneur, or if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, most people become an entrepreneur because they want to be freed from all the restrictions that you have in companies. <coughs> They either have a great idea and they know that the only way to get it into the market is to own it and not to depend on other people to take the decision for them or they believe they can do their work better on their own or they are done being a slave of their bosses, of their employees, or they simply think they can make more money. The last one is not always true. Actually, none of them is always true. And I will tell you why. First, being an entrepreneur means you start to own all the responsibility that are normally owned by the company you work for and they're normally shared by multiple people. <coughs> also financially, the risk is directly on your shoulders. Unless you choose to have investors, which then often means that they do get involved in the decision making at some point so you don't have the freedom as you were hoping not the total freedom also making more money is not always true because you have costs costs that are normally covered by your company like health insurance and all other kind of insurances that will pay out when you are unable to produce for one reason or another. Of course you can decide not to take those insurances but that would also mean that if you do get sick into an accident or business is really bad or something bad happens to your company then yeah no work, no productivity means no income. If you go on holiday, you also have no income. So, it's very important that you are aware of what you're starting. I'm not telling you this to scare you off. Because I jumped in both feet. And I had to learn many things the hard way. At the same time, I was very lucky to have met the right people. What's important is that you know what you want to do. And why. And that doesn't come from here. It comes from here. It's a feeling. First, you need to feel that you really want to be an entrepreneur. Me, for example, I had been advised to start my own company long before I did start the coaching, long before I became an entrepreneur. Because even when I started coaching, I tried it full time, it didn't work out financially, so I started having jobs again and started coaching on the side, or continued coaching on the side. But You need to feel it. I want to say long before I started, people were telling me this. I'm talking when I was in my mid-twenties already. And the only example I had of entrepreneurs were people who were working off their asses, barely had any private time. Um, most of them were 
alcoholic or drug addict drug addict and not admitting it I literally had an entrepreneur sniffing coke right in front of me in the car and I was like what? it's it's not always what we believe it is not everything is what it looks like so yeah people told me ah you should be an entrepreneur because I was delivering high quality work uh, in a short period of time and they were really very happy with what I was doing I was servicing them working within multinational and they meant well when they said to me that I should be an entrepreneur but I was not ready and as I said they had the wrong examples in front of me so I saw parents who were not really parents I saw yeah a lot of shit and I saw also the stress and I was like well at least within the multinational at a certain point I'll go home and I'll be free and when I'm on holiday I'll be free So for me, being an entrepreneur meant being a slave, a slave to my own company. <clears throat> and some people may say, ah, it's better to be a slave to your own company than, better, than being a slave to somebody else. Well, <laughs> it's not always true because if you're a slave to somebody else, you still have rights and they have to pay you and they have to allow you to go on holiday stuff like that when you're a slave to your own company yeah these things are not there so your life will more turn into real slavery so this brings me to part two of my video and to the title don't be a slave of your own company If you started a business from here because you felt you had to start the business you really felt you didn't think it you felt it you felt driven to doing it and you felt what you had to produce either a product or a service or a combination then you need to stay connected with that feeling and you need to keep listening to what your intuition is telling you to what your body is telling you so when it's telling you to take a pause take a pause, take a break take a holiday take a nap when it's telling you to change course, change course and don't take your decisions based on the past because the past the past is in the past it doesn't exist anymore it's gone be very aware that some of the most successful people who are also happy are not workaholics they enjoy the private time some of them with their family some of them with their friends some of them just doing things they love very important if at a certain moment you start feeling that you have to work and starts to feel like work in general you know something is wrong and you need to take a moment, take a break, empty your mind, meditate, relax, take a warm bath, whatever, and then feel where you stand and what you need to do and which way you want to go. Because when you're really following your passion as an entrepreneur, even as an employee, 
it doesn't feel like work. I've said hundreds, maybe even thousands of times, if you love what you're doing, you do not need to work. And I've experienced that. In two jobs, one at the beginning of my career and one towards, towards the end of my career as employee. I really loved what I was doing and it didn't feel like work and I would go with pleasure, get up with pleasure in the morning to go to work. Sometimes even get up middle of the night to go to work. Actually not to go to work, to go and have fun. To go and do something good, to do, go and do something useful, to go and do something fun. So. If you're not doing this, if you're not having fun, if you're not doing something useful, you should really ask yourself, what am I doing? And take that break I just described. Start feeling. People may say, yes, every job has its parts that you don't like. Well, Maybe you should find a partner for those parts. For example, I do not like to do marketing. So I'm looking right now for someone who loves to do marketing and who understands my product, who speaks my language, so that this person can do the right marketing for me that will attract those clients who resonate with me, my real target audience. And that's not always easy, especially somebody like me who's in the field of spirituality. It doesn't mean that I'm using voodoo, but it more means I'm talking to people from here and to here within the people. So if you communicate from soul to soul, Traditional marketing doesn't really work. At least that's what I believe. So I do not want a marketeer to find algorithms and to start spamming a million people so that 1000 will come to me. Because that's what a lot of people do in marketing. You have to follow a certain methodology and do certain things systematically and whatever who are all not really what I love to do or what I'm good at and then eventually people will start buying from you well as I couldn't find somebody who really understands what I'm doing and I've tried and I've been honest with people told them like sorry but I, will, I know you're very good at what you do, but it's not good for me because you do not speak my language. And yeah, that's it. So what I do until then is making my videos where I share what I'm doing. And slowly my audience will grow and I keep networking in my own way, being who I am, doing things like I feel and that's how I do attract the right people. People who resonate with me. Because if I want people to work well with me and get results, they need to resonate with me. If that would not be essential, I would just write down on a piece of paper how to do things, have somebody smurf a beautiful book out of it and sell it. That's not how it works. It's not how I work. I do not have recipes for people like, oh, here's a list. If you do all these things in that order, you have a great result. Yes, there are a few things that I can tell you, but they're not so specific. I'm not going to tell you how to do your work. I'm not going to tell you what you need to do to be successful. Not in detail, not the traditional way. You've seen in this video, whatever I told you was about what I suggest you do, which is you going inside yourself and find the answers. 
Most people don't know how to go inside themselves, and that's what I help them with. At this moment I'm helping an entrepreneur, a dietist, she's also a good friend of mine, and she made a beautiful testimonial. She said in a business meeting, when people ask me, Ah, oh, you have a coach, yes, yes, yes. And what is he teaching you? What is he doing for you? Not much, she said. He just knows when to ask me a question that will put me to think, so I find my own solutions. Okay, she said it in her own words, but this is how I remember it. But that's true. But she said, actually, there are no part, no, not much parts, she said. And she's paying me well for it. And she's even sharing with me uh, part of her growth. That's something she insisted on because she felt that the steps she was able to take, she took them because I helped her. And looking at what I've done, I've mainly talked with her, sometimes helped her set up a structure, but that was a very practical thing. Um, a structure based on what she's producing and what she needs and it was not like I told her what she had to do literally all in detail I told her how I, I would do things how I have structured certain things and it's up to her to find her exact way because she knows her product the best and that's also a thing I do not need to know all the details of your product to be able to help you. You are the expert, I hope. And because you are the expert, you know best what to do. I can only give you some tools. And mainly what I've been doing with her, I'm still doing is help her reflect on herself, to help her see the bigger picture and to go back to feeling what she really likes, where she feels she can add value and of course one of the most important things is what she feels that she needs for herself, even what comes back from the clients for her, which can be in money-wise payment, it can be referrals, it can be appreciation, it can be many things that you can get back from your clients. And I've seen that in the business world there are a lot of barters being made. Uh, the funny thing is that barters also mean you do not need to pay taxes on them. And there are companies who are really working this way. I know about some companies doing this in the US. They save a lot of money. Plus, they get very good quality because a barter means the better I deliver something to you, the better you will deliver to me. So, being an entrepreneur starts with you knowing who you are what you want and what you can offer so take a moment to feel and if you're stuck in this if you realize that you want to be an entrepreneur but you do not have answers to these questions and you do not manage to get to them or you already have been an entrepreneur for a short period of time or maybe even for a decade or two and you're stuck try this method and if you do not manage on your own that's okay there's no shame in that it's my speciality to teach people how to do this so contact me and I'll help you to get to your answers because all your answers are within you they are in here you just need to unlock them and if for whatever reason 
I'm not available or it's too complicated for you to work with me, find somebody else. But do it. Do something. Don't sit still. Don't continue doing what you have been doing for a long time because it did work before and you know it doesn't really work anymore or you started to hate it but yeah you need to make money and whatever excuses you have screw those excuses act be smart really smart and act change Stop being afraid of change. And if you're afraid of change, I can also help you with that. Because what I'm basically doing with entrepreneurs is I go to the core of the entrepreneur. If you would see the entrepreneur as a, as a machine, I go to the core of it and make it work from the inside out. So your company is built all around you, you the entrepreneur, even if you have employees built around you. So if you do not perform well, you become the weakest link within the company and you being the heart of the company means your company becomes very unhealthy. She gets sick and that will collapse. You don't want that unless you're totally done with it. But then don't let go this way and just dissolve your company. If you want to continue, if you want to have fun again, click the link below or if you're watching this on my website, in the menu you see contact. When you contact me, tell me as clear as you can and as simple as short as you can where you, how you're stuck and what you feel you need and if you do not know just say that as well it's fine start by being honest to yourself and to me that's one of the main principles of working with me is to be honest with yourself and then automatically with me and I will be damn honest with you Doesn't mean it will be rough on you. No, but it may be tough or simply very honest. And all of that with a loving heart. Because my success depends on your success. If you succeed, I succeed. So, yeah. Take the step. Looking forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.